first Old Trafford where Manchester United beat West Ham in extra time to reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup for the seventh season in a row. After a goalless 90 minutes, Scott McTominay struck in the seventh minute of extra time. Marcus Rashford making his 250th appearance for the club, setting up the goal. McTominay had scored for the third game in succession, bringing his total to seven for the season, as many as he scored in the previous four years. Going through is always the main main thing in the cup, uh, and for us bouncing back after the disappointing uh, last kick of the ball uh, the other day. So very pleased with their mentality, uh, how they've reset their uh, uh, attitude, and uh, we're positive about going through. Scott has really um, developed that part of his game this season. Uh, of course, we let him go. Uh, into the box more often, uh, unleash him. Uh, he's he's a very good striker of the ball and a very clinical finisher. He's um, as he was a forward or a striker in his younger days. You can see his authority when he gets um, a chance to finish. I'm really pleased with the, the performance the players put in. I wasn't pleased in the first half because I didn't think we we played well enough and we gave Manchester United too much respect and stayed off them, but. With injuries and different things, it forces into a, a, a change, and actually the change helped us at half time. I thought we played much better after that. And look, I'm, I'm coming away from Old Trafford disappointed that we didn't at least get a chance to go to penalty kicks because I thought we'd just about warranted that. Jonathan Woodgate led Bournemouth into the quarterfinals for just the second time in their history. They knocked out Premier League Burnley to make it back-to-back -back wins under Woodgate, who's in caretaker charge. Bournemouth went ahead in the 21st minute through Sam Surridge. With 12 minutes left, though, Junior Stanislas added a second with a penalty after Surridge was brought down by Jimmy Dunn. We put out a strong team. We, we came here to win the game. There's, 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 no, there's no doubt about that. Um, and like I say, the second time in Bournemouth's, in Bournemouth's history... That they've done that, so it is good. But it breeds confidence, wins breed confidence. It's just nice to win football matches, really. Increase the confidence in the players. It wins against a tough bearing side, and then to win 2 0, it's got to bring confidence on the dressing room. You know, I've been given that responsibility to go and manage a good football club. Uh, I'm doing that, I'm enjoying it. Oh, look at it as the next game, another you know, next game's forest if I'm, if I'm in charge. Well, with all the Changes we've had to make to try and protect the situation and, and allow us the strength to go into the Premier League. Then it's hard to, hard to describe. I mean, happy of sorts. There were some good performances. There was certainly a lot of effort and commitment to get a, a win. Um, but of course, inevitably, you're disappointed because we see the two really poor goals. I felt um, the two and a half don't respond to the first situation in the first half and drive back into defend the situation. Um, and the second one don't. Right, we're chasing the game at that stage, and it's. I think it's a soft penalty, but let's face it, touch anyone in the box nowadays, well, that's a penalty.